Deadly Tarantula Girl coming to you from my private Serpentarium. Welcome. I hope everyone is safe and healthy right now. Um, I'm bringing you a long-awaited Tarantula video. Um, but before that, I did need to apologize and um, for my absence and lack of invert videos recently. Basically, long story short, between December and January, um, five... Four of my five crew members moved away. And so it's been a struggle. We've been trying to do some distance stuff, but I do have some help. And um, so we're trying to batch film and get as much footage filmed while people are here as possible. Just know that I love you. You are not forgotten. And yes, I still am working with a lot of inverts. So without further ado, let's get on with the show. So I have an Afnipelma chalcotes here. This was a specimen that was collected from Arizona. And if you haven't noticed, this little mommy is guarding a beautiful egg sac. Now this is late March of 2020 and she was actually bred last August. So people ask me all the time, how long does it take to get an egg sac? And the true answer is that it varies a lot from species to species and from animal to animal. So basically, if you have a tarantula that you think may have bred and she has not molted yet, there is still a chance that you can get an egg sac. So I've gotten egg sacs as quickly as a few days or a week. That's really uncommon. I mean, sometimes it's over a year, well over a year. So as long as your female has not molted, she is still viable. That egg sac could still be potentially viable. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to just give her some extra water and I'm going to let her keep this egg sac, at least for now. A lot of moms are really good and so if I choose to take the egg sac from the mom, which I don't always do, if I feel like they're at risk with the mother, then I have to do all that myself. And of course, mom has nothing to do but take care of her baby, so I'd much rather her do it. Tonight, we're just gonna water her and then move her whole enclosure into the incubator where it's nice and dark and warm and private. It's kinda like she gets to go to the maternity suite. So I definitely don't wanna spray the egg sac um, so you want to aim for the opposite end of the enclosure while boosting humidity. I'm going to give it several nice sprays up along the wall and in the substrate and then even pour a little bit of water in there. So uh, I like to use vermiculite and the vermiculite is really good at soaking up that moisture and releasing it over time. So once I move her into the incubator, then um, it'll be the perfect setting. So, have a good evening, mommy. Take care of those babies. In four weeks, we'll open it up and see what we have. Well, I hope you guys liked seeing a beautiful mom with an egg sac. I'm very happy to see it, and I actually have a second egg sac tonight, and so that video is gonna be next. Hope you guys like this one, and I'll see you soon. You think I'm a thinker, but I'm just a singer. Well, busy and pretty, just making believe. Oh, I am falling, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling. Down to obscurity, don't let me ever be this alone. I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling. Shouldn't be trusting me, I could be making it all up, you know. 